Ever want to build an ice fishing sled but didn't know where to start? Stay tuned and I'll show you. Here are a few things that you'll need. The first thing I did was measure the distance between the molded runners of my sled. Since I'm just rebuilding a sled that I built a couple years ago, your process will be a little bit different than mine. In order for me to fit the cross members between the molded in runners on my sled, I had to remove about three inches from one of my side supports. Since I'm not cutting these uh, side supports in the video, um, just pretend this is a two by eight and this is how you mark it for cutting. Once you have your basic shapes cut, you'll notch it out for the cross supports using a jigsaw. Again, in my case, I just had to cut off three inches from the front, so I'm not really showing how to cut the actual side supports, but it's pretty obvious. So the test fit looks pretty good. Um, I've got enough room. Um, you can see how I'm trying to get the cross supports uh, between the molded in runners on the sled. It just helps keep it from falling off of the smitty when you're pulling it. Measure the distance from the back of the ski to the support and obviously you want the left and right to match um, to make sure that it pulls straight. Once you have your marks in place, just drill your holes. I used a quarter inch bit, and then I used a boring bit to make sure that I can recess the screw head into the ski. Do the exact same thing for all of the screws. When it came time to put the front supports in, I had to make sure I maintained that 16 and a half inch distance that I measured in the beginning of the video. That way my cross supports will stay between the molded in runners on the sled. Now you can add your eye hooks on the sides for your rope and strap mounts. And also for your cross members, you can use three and a half inch or longer if you want, um, bumper bolts. Those make great pegs. And this is just how simple these things go together. I numbered mine so I could put it together quickly at a glance. Um, the pegs just slide into holes you drill on the top of the supports and you're good to go. Here you can see how easy it is to get the portable up onto the sled. And you can see why I wanted mine built the way it is. See how it's kind of locked down on there. Another nice thing about these smitties is on windy days, you can take it apart once you get on your ice and get your uh, portable set up. It can, you can use the parts to set on your skirt if there's not really any snow to bank it in. It works really, really well.
If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe, and maybe even share it. Thanks.